Hey guys, this is Vivek here. In this series of videos, I'll be talking about some really cool and exciting stuff that you can do on Power Apps. Um, in this particular video, I'll be talking about how can you control your smart home gadgets within Power Apps. Now, you must be wondering that Flow doesn't have any kind of a smart home gadget kind of a service or connector as such which can directly link but uh, what I have done over here is I've tried to use the IFTTT service um, which if you are a smart home kind of a geek you you would know about that um, so basically it stands for if this then that where you can kind of create applets which basically have a trigger and an action so you can have a trigger like say if it's morning 8 a.m. turn on my bedroom light so that's the kind of applets that you can create on using this website now one service that they have is it's called webhooks service now that helps to create or receive a, a web request and based on the web request or an HTTP request as such you can trigger an action so I have tried to integrate this service into IFTTT and in turn integrating it with power apps to control my hall light within the power apps so let me go ahead into the details about it so once you have created an account on IFTTT you can search for webhook service and uh, you will have to connect that service and it will basically assign you a key uh, to see that key you can go into the documentation which I just clicked over here and it will show you the key and uh, the details about how to make the request and what values you can pass on in the JSON body and there's some other instructions as well over here so what you need to do is copy this whole URL and um, create a flow with your trigger as the power apps and the action would be an HTTP request so you can either put it as get or post I have used post over here and you can paste the same URL from your documentation on IFTTT and paste it over here now one thing you'll notice is the they have mentioned an event kind of a space over here and that's something that you can set based on whatever event you want to trigger so it's basically the name that you want to assign and kind of keep it will help you understand what basically you're trying to achieve through this whole flow and the IFTTT integrated so I am controlling my hall light over here and that's why I have named it as hall light slash underscore pressed so so basically if it's turned on I want it to turn if I turn on the button over here I want to turn on the light and if I turned off over here I want it to turn off the light so so in the flow you already enter the URL the body you can define any values that you want to pass to so we'll we'll come back to this once I show you what I've done on the power apps screen but uh, this is about the flow that you need to create now let's go to the power apps section over here so I've just created an, a simple screen over here with a toggle control which basically just runs the flow that we have created over here now as you can see I'm passing a value which is nothing but on or off 
so we can see it over here and so on check it runs this flow which sends the value on and when I uncheck it it will pass the value off now let me try to show it over here so if it doesn't make sense over there okay so yeah let's just see it over here once so that it's easier to understand so you can see this is the flow and this is the text that I'm passing so if I am turning on this toggle it passes on as the value over here and you'll see in a moment why and how it turning on turning off the light now once you, so the next thing that you need to do is create an applet on IFTTT now there are two ways to create applets one is you just create the normal applets by selecting the services they already have over here but this doesn't give you a lot of flexibility um, to put any kind of conditions or any kind of filter code that you want to put so to do that you'll have to sign up for their platform and it's basically a free um, kind of a sign up you just you don't need to be a partner as such you just need to um, sign up on their IFTT platform and you should be able to create some applets on your own now I'll show you what applet that I have created over here. So this is the applet that I created. Let's see. So what it does is when when you create a webhook, uh, so the webhook will be a trigger, and you can define a default value. So we can go ahead and define the default value as all light underscore rest and the next thing that you want to do is before this filter go code gets activated you'll have to add some actions now in this case I've added I have a Vmo smart plug and that's why I've added a, a Vmo smart plug as a service and I put a turn off um, the switch will be something that you'll select once you create this applet and turn it on in your account so you can select it during that time and uh, so I've added two actions over here one action is turning off and one action is turning on now what you want to do is you want to create a, f a filter saying if the value that was passed on this HTTP request if if it's on i want to turn on the light or basically you want to skip the turn off action and similarly if the value is off i want to skip the turn on action now the the reason why i'm doing skip is because that's the kind of actions that are available in the the filter code that you need to enter over here so it's pretty simple it's just if the value is on value 1 if you see in the flow I have mentioned value 1 as the uh, power apps variable that I'm collecting from the uh, flow so if the value is on I'm skipping the off action and if the value is off I'm skipping the on action so once you have created that applet you just mm, have to enter a title and a applet description and just save it and once you have saved it you can uh, open it in IFTTT over here let me so open it here so as you can see I've turned it on for now and uh, 
I will go into the settings and show you how to select the switch Yes, let me show you here. Let's just refresh it once. Yep. So as you can see, I've the event name is hall light underscore pressed. Um, for the turn off, I've selected the hall light as my switch. If you have any other switch, it will pop up over here. And uh, similarly for the turn on, I've selected the hall light as well. Now I have connected my Vimo switches over here, but you can connect any other any other smart device that you have and accordingly make the changes in the uh, the platform uh, in the applet over here. So if you have say a Philips Hue bulb, you can add that as an action and accordingly you have to change the filter code over here so I think so once you have this selected just go ahead and save it okay <laughs> that's weird just try doing that once again yep so it's now updated and uh, I think you're all set uh, we'll just try to run it over here so just to show you that I'm not kidding over here and this really works um, I've added the highlight as a an image as a video recording over here so let me go ahead and turn this off over here can see it's loading there you go the whole light was turned off and let's go back and turn it on there you go it turns on again I'll do it just one more time so that you believe me <laughs> so yeah there you go it's turned off once more I hope this video was useful for you and I hope you can come up with something much more cooler than just a hall light turning on and off. You can integrate other services on if this then that and uh, using Flow, IFTTT and Power Apps together. You can kind of integrate a bunch of these different services offered by different platforms and uh, kind of make them run together. If you like this video, uh, please uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section what you would like to see in the future or any kind of questions that you have. Um, I'll be happy to help and thank you.